Once we finish, we'll be okay. Okay, as soon as we finish. Do you have any plans to help the uh, sick and dying 9-11 first responders? Mm -hmm. All the media availability at 10 a.m. Okay. Rudy Giuliani is firing back this morning against criticism by relatives of 9-11 victims. They say the former New York City mayor mismanaged the aftermath of the attacks. But Giuliani says he was with rescuers at the debris pile and even spent more time than some workers. Morning, how are you? Hey. Giuliani, if I could get $50,000 uh, do a pay-per-view event, to help the 9-11... Yeah, just one second. I already started my question. So $50,000, will it'll benefit the 9-11 first responders if, uh, if we challenge you to a debate about World Trade 7 and the feasibility of the collapse. The, the uh, Department of Emergency Management building, sir, they collapsed at free fall speed. The 47-story building, they collapsed at free fall speed. Your Department of Emergency Management, sir, what happened to that building? Why did you choose that building over all other buildings? Why that one in Manhattan? This is World Trade Center 7 just before it collapsed on September the 11th, 2001. It had not been hit by an aircraft. It had been damaged by falling debris and fire. But by 5.20 p.m. most of the fires had been extinguished. Although the building was 47 stories high, it doesn't fall sideways, nor collapse unevenly. For this to have happened, all of the building's vertical supports must have given way at almost exactly the same time. What agenda are you working on? You're asking questions about 9-11? Are you, are you planning on donating any money to the uh, sick and dying 9-11 first responders, Giuliani? He hasn't answered my question. He answered, hasn't answered one question. Are you planning on donating any money to the sick and dying 9-11 first responders that you refuse to help? The air quality was not safe in New York. How does it feel to be a wanted criminal throughout the world, Mayor? Criminal Mayor? Uh, now you made your point. Now you're born around whole ass. Okay. Take off. So <laughs> you made your point. Take off, or we will have you removed. Okay, by the police. So you made your point. Now, okay. I'm afraid you that's. Can, you can keep from a safe distance. I'm afraid that's not enough. But now you're yelling and screaming, and now okay. it's born around whole ass. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. So keep it simple. You want to follow and film. You, you guys are getting terrible out. press for your uh, for your stuff here. Go across. You're getting terrible press for whoever you're campaigning for. Yeah, the campaign event. Huh? Uh, uh, news conference. Can you wait? All, all right, I'm moving. Process. I'm moving. Hey, Giuliani, why'd you lie about the air quality in New York? Don't get rough. Huh? How much money have you donated to the, the sick and dying 9-11 first responders? You don't have to get rough. You know? I'm not getting rough. But uh, yeah, but you are. You're repeating yourself. You're being, you know. Okay. What else should I say? Because he heard you, so you don't have to hear it. No. Who told you the towers were going to collapse, Giuliani? Hey, buddy. Hey. How did you get advance notice of that? I'm calling the police right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. And we were in a building in which we were trapped for about. 10, 15 minutes. Are you talking about the office? Did you go immediately to the Office of Emergency Management? No, I, I went down to the scene and we set up a headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, mm -hmm. the head of emergency management. And we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse. And it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. So we were trapped in the building for 10, 15 minutes and finally found an exit and got out 
walk north and took a lot of people with us. My question is, the Office of Emergency Management headquarters into which you put enormous effort for coordination in a disaster like this, has it been damaged? Is oh, it yes. still operating? It's, it's gone? It, it, it's, in, uh, it's been uh, damaged. I don't know how badly. So where are you riding at? GCN Live. Look it up on Infowars.com. Yeah. He got advance notice that the tower was going to collapse, and how, how come he, you know? What about the, the, the radios for I the firefighters? They, they, I, I, they, they the, you, you've already made your mind up. I don't, I don't know why like, you're talking to me, you know? Well, I know. I'm just trying to get the point why you're going on. You know, just keep it over here. I mean, you, you already got your messages. It isn't him. It's her. That's you're going to gonna push me into mo oncoming no, you're, traffic? You're the one who's forcing me. They attacked us in 93. And yet, eight and a half years later, New York City firefighters, the greatest fire department in the world, we're using the same radios that we knew didn't work. We have remains of dead heroes out at the garbage dump because of Giuliani and his administration. And they're still there today, and they won't remove them. And this guy had politics and his image much more important than the needs of firefighters and their families. Yep. Safety. Mm -hmm. Giuliani, do you feel happy about burying the, the uh, victims of 9-11 in the dump? And not having a, a proper, uh, proper uh, analysis of the crime scene? Why'd you ship all the steel overseas before it could be uh, investigated what happened to those buildings? He's a criminal, look him up, World Trade 7. Use your internet. He's a poor spokesperson. This is harassment. Yeah, what you're doing is harassment, yeah. yeah. When Rudy started his scoop and dump operation, just 101 FDNY members had been recovered. 242 FDNY members and hundreds of civilians would either stay buried at ground zero or be removed like garbage and deposited at the Fresh Kills landfill. Scoop up the debris, dump it in a landfill, the heck with the fact that it was firefighters or others who would never have a funeral for their family. Families and off-duty firefighters protested Rudy's appalling lack of respect. In response, Giuliani had them arrested. The structural steel that would have been key to figuring out what happened to these buildings, what happened to that? Well, this, the, um, New York City accepted a plan 11 days after the attack to immediately start recycling the steel, in, not even in the, in, in the United States where some of it might have gotten saved inadvertently. No, it was put on ships bound for India and China to be, to be melted down. We were concerned about that and uh, we understood early, again early on that, uh, that those are going to hold the keys to knowing exactly how the buildings came down. Um, and unfortunately, we were not successful in getting the elected officials and the, uh, the powers that be um, to, to do that. Um, you know, when it was all said and done, we only had a, a hand, relatively a very, very small portion of the steel from those buildings. The idea that it would implode, the implosion that took place, I actually didn't realize that until much later. Because when that happened, I was in the police department command post. So I didn't see it. I heard it. I saw the result of it. The building started shaking and the desk started shaking. But I don't think I really envisioned how it happened until I saw it on television you know, many hours later. And, to, and it was a shock to see it just implode that way. Well, 